Hey everyone, Radical Reggie back at you with another video. And today I want to talk about a company called Minibox. But before I get into that, um, I just kind of want to say that um, I've been collecting for years, as you guys know. And I got a lot of stuff for cheap because I got a lot of it before it, like people were like, it was pretty much sought after. Like an example of this, like when people were like collecting Nintendo games and Super Nintendo games, I was going after like Game Boy games, Genesis games, you know. And I got a lot of this stuff fairly cheap, you know, especially at the time. And nowadays people want to kind of replicate like what I got in my collection, but it's very expensive now. And a lot of people like that uniform look of having your stuff complete in box. It just seems like that's almost impossible now if you don't find a good deal. So that's where mini box comes in. Now you guys know I like to have my stuff looking uniform and that's why I collect most of my stuff in box, but mini box, uh, they create cartridge sized boxes for your games. So if you're someone that collects games that are loose cartridge and you still, you want like a case for them, this is probably the way to go for you. Now remember what I said, these are cartridge sized boxes. So they're gonna be the same size as the cartridge. They fit nice and snug and they, they really look awesome on the shelf. Uh, I was very impressed with this. Now, as you guys can see, there's a lot of choices of uh, uh, cases you get for certain systems. Uh, but I want to show you guys pretty much what I got. And I want to show you how it looks uh, when you put a game inside. So let's take a look at that real fast. So first, I want to show you guys the NES game and how they fit in the case. Yes, Hothead Joe is a custom game made by Riggs back in the day. Had to get a case for this one. And you see the outer shell here is that plastic. And the art is inside. The art stays inside. You don't want to pull the art inside because uh, that would defeat the whole purpose of the case pretty much. These cases really work well. And you can see how snug it is and how nice that will be on the shelf. Next up, we have Resident Evil uh, for the Game Boy Color. This is an unreleased game, just for you, so you guys know. And uh, you guys got to see how nice and snug this game fits inside. I love that. You know, and one of the things about these cases is that, you know, you see information about the game on the back, just like you would a regular box. So I love that. And I mean, it's, that's easier to look at than some loose cartridge. Now we take a look at the infamous Game Gear. You know, the Game Gear games, you can see how the box looks and how the game goes inside. I, I just like how this stuff is gonna look on my shelf now. You know, loose carts, uh, I've, I've actually lost a couple because you know, it's, it just, it's hard to keep them uniform, at least for me. So these boxes are a blessing in disguise. And now I'm pretty sure you guys wanna see the Super Nintendo, how those games look in box. So pretty much here is my Castlevania uh, Dracula X and you can see how nice and snug this fits inside the box. I, just, I think these are really great guys and I think a lot of people will look into these you know for their collections because I just don't like a lot of my stuff looking like just sitting around loose pretty much you know it's hard to keep it looking in that uniform matter and this the mini boxes really come through for me now here's a little montage of my games before and after
All right, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely check out Mini Box. Uh, they really got some good stuff going here, especially if you want your collection looking uniform. I will leave a link in the description uh, where you can buy these from. And remember, the more you buy, the better deal you get, guys. And if there's a game missing that doesn't have uh, cover art for it, uh, he will do custom cases as well. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you, Radical Reggie, and I will see you all later.